Hey guys, um, so this video is going to be about attaching a coil to your pinch pot. So hopefully you watched the video about how to make a proper coil. This is going to be the next step um, in creating the wall of your mug. So we're going to switch gears. I'm going to put the camera on the table so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to take your slip your slips on your table and I just put it on my finger. We're gonna put it on the rim of your pinch pot. Just like that. And if you ever forget to do this and you do your scoring first, you can apply your slip, it doesn't matter. I just like to do it first, that way I don't squish my scoring marks down. So then you're gonna take your needle tool and we're just gonna make some lines. So don't put them like really far away like this. You wanna put them right on top of each other. And you don't have to go this fast. It's just, I want to get you through this video pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go all the way around my pinch pot here. And it's gonna look kinda of messy, don't worry about that. You're gonna fix it all up. It'll look pretty again later. Now I like to go in a couple different directions. And then you're going to take your coil that you've made. Remember, it's a little bit um, bigger than your thumb, slightly bigger than the clay wall. And we're going to put it right on top. And a good way to kind of check this is just take your finger and put it next to it. And if there's no space between your coil and your finger, then you know it's in the right spot. If it's too far in and you have your finger here, then you can see that space right here then your coil's not in the right section and your coil, your mug's gonna go in and we don't want it to go in right now. So just kind of check with your finger, make sure there's no space. If your coil's too big, just kind of tear a piece off and you're gonna go all the way around. And I like to leave just a little bit more than I need. That way I can check my coil placement. see that was hanging off too far so I'm gonna just kind of check it so I'm just kind of checking it with my finger and then I just cut a little bit because you can always cut more I mean it's not a huge deal if you cut it too short you can always add a little section of coil but kids always just like to have one straight coil so now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use like this part of my thumb and I'm gonna pull my clay wall so it might be a good idea to kind of smooth this seam in first where those two ends meet and then um, pull your wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be on the inside. Now you guys are gonna have your, your pinch pot sitting down on your table um, and you're just gonna pull, you're gonna push in just slightly, make sure you're supporting here. You're gonna push that coil off the wall. Um, you're gonna push in and then you're gonna pull down. And notice that I pulled down pretty far. I didn't just stop right below the coil. Okay, I'm going to put this on its side so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to push in and then pull down. Make sure that you overlap your pull marks. If you take a little bit of clay with you, that's not a huge deal. It's probably pretty normal to bring clay with you off your thumb. But your goal is to get rid of this seam. We don't want to be able to see that. So push in and pull down, overlap, push in and pull down. I'm gonna put this down so I can do a better job and I think you'll be able to see it. And I'm gonna do this all the way around. Again, notice I'm pulling my clay wall all the way through my pinch pot. I'm not stopping right under the coil. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit messy and you can go back in and you can just kind of re-pull some of those and smooth it out a little bit. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the inside. Now this is gonna be hard to see on the camera, but I'm gonna support my wall here on the outside so I don't push it off. And I'm gonna push in 
and then pull down. So I'm doing the exact same motion that I did on the outside wall, but this time I'm doing it on the inside. If that's a little bit tricky for you, you can always use a modeling tool and you can pull that clay up and down. You, you're, it's more at a diagonal angle when you use the modeling tool, but that's okay. It's gonna do the same thing. So a lot of times beginners like to use those, but I do encourage you to try it with your thumb first um, because you can get a little bit more of a grip and you're able to compress the clay better as you go. And you, it, that's kind of hard to do with a modeling tool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back through and I'm just gonna kind of even up my clay wall because I got it a little bit uneven. So I'm gonna revert back to my pinching. Don't worry about the thickness right now. We'll fix that later. In regards to how thick should it be for my mug. So I'm just going through and I'm pinching this out to get it nice and even. And then of course, just like we've talked about with your pinch pot, you're gonna go back through with your rib tool, use the flat side on the outside, the round side on the inside. Remember, you wanna match the contour of your shape. And we're just going to smooth this out. As always, make sure you're supporting the inside wall. And we're trying, our goal is to get rid of those seams. We don't wanna be able to see where our coil is attached. If we can see where that coil is attached, you could possibly get a crack. It could fall apart. It might mean that your clay is the wrong moisture. Remember, coils are much easier to uh, use when, they're, when they have moisture in them, when they're wet. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside using the round sides, again, supporting the opposite wall applying pressure. So remember, this is my clay wall. I'm going to push in and scrape. So I'm scraping. Apply pressure just a little bit. You don't need to pull a whole lot. And then we're going to use our sponge to kind of smooth this out. And then you're gonna repeat that exact same process that I just showed you. You're going to slip, score, add your coil, and smooth. So three S's, slip, score, smooth. If you do that, you're gonna be perfectly fine. You're gonna get this for us, for our class, you wanna get your um, pinch pot clay wall and your coil wall up to about five inches for your mug. Stay tuned for the next step.